Welcome to another video on the basics of making 2D games in Unity. In this video we're going to be looking at how to make the camera follow our main character around the scene. Uh, and then we'll look at some different variations for that. So right now I've got the scene here, I've got my player, I can move him back and forth but he can get off the edge of my camera uh, and if I built these platforms higher he can get off the top of the screen. So what we want to do is be able to do some scrolling with our camera here. So uh, the simplest way of doing scrolling would just be to make the camera a child of the player. So I could, if I wanted just real simple scrolling, just drag the, the main camera under the player. And now he's a child of the player. And then if I get that camera kind of positioned uh, roughly where I want it to be when it follows the player around and I hit play, it will just follow my player. So this is a very simple, easy way of doing scrolling. Uh, some of the downfalls to this, though, is that there is no smoothing in our camera. So um, the camera can get, look like it has a little bit of a shake to it. Uh, it, it doesn't. Um, it, it follows us exactly. Uh, it can go off the edge of the level. Like here's the edge of the level. Maybe we don't want our camera ever to go this far. Maybe we want the camera to stop before the edge and just let the player keep moving on either side, top and bottom. So while this will work uh, and isn't a bad thing as far as maybe prototyping your level, uh, we, we really want a better solution uh, to make what we would call a smooth follow camera, where the camera has some smoothing, which means that it, it follows the player, but it uh, is almost like it's on a little rubber band that's getting pulled around by the player. So that means we have to do a little scripting. So let's look at uh, one way that we can do a smooth camera, and then we'll also look at uh, ways that we can have the camera stop moving when it hits the edges of the levels. So we're going to need a script. So let's make a new C Sharp script, and we'll call this Camera Follow. Open that up in Model Develop. All right, so here's our new script called Camera Follow. Now we need a way for our camera to be able to follow our player around, and we want to add some dampening or some smoothing. And if you actually go into Unity's documentation, there's one here that uh, is a called Vector3 Smooth Damp. And Vector3 Smooth Damp, it says in the description, it gradually changes the vector towards the desired goal over time and it's kind of like a spring-like damper it won't overshoot and it says here most common uses for smoothing a follow camera so they've actually got a solution for us right here in the documentation that we're going to start with and modify so this says we need a public transform target that's the target the camera is going to follow we need a float which is our smooth time that's how much time we want uh, the camera to take to get to where the player is, so that's how, um, how smooth it is. We need a Vector3 velocity, which is going to keep track of um, how fast the camera should be moving. And then just an update function that uh, figures out where we want the camera to be, so this allows us to specify a point that um, will say how high above the player and how far on the z-axis we want the camera to stay. And then we just, every frame, figure out the new position of the camera by using the Vector3 Smooth Damp, which takes our camera's current position. And then the position that we want to be at, it references the velocity, which is our current velocity of our camera, and then our smooth time, how long we want to take it to get there. So we can actually just copy and paste this little chunk of code here. So I'm going to copy that and paste it. I'm getting rid of everything that's in the in the uh, class here and just paste that in. And here we are. We have a our, our code right out of the reference manual and those examples are actual correctly written code so you can copy and paste them in and then modify them if that works for what you're doing. So let's just see what we have with the, just this default code in here. We're going to go out into Unity we're going to attach the script to our camera. So first of all, let's pull the camera back off the player. We don't want it to be a child of the player anymore. We want it to move independently of the player with this script. And we're going to put our camera follow script onto the camera. And then uh, we have to give it a target. So the target is what is the camera following around? 
Well, the camera is going to be following our player. So let's grab our player and drop him in the target. Now the camera will uh, follow the target with a smooth time of 0.3 seconds. So if we hit play now, you notice that the camera is now following my player and it's taking a few seconds to stop. Now you'll notice one of the problems we have here is that the camera is staying too high above our player. Okay, but he is following the player around. So we need to modify what we have here. And the reason why it's too high is right here. It's picking a new point. Transform point says get a point that's um, at our target. Start with our target's position, but then basically add 5 to the Y and make sure you're negative 10. Uh, on the Z so that we can see our scene since it's a 2D game. So this number here is too big. So we want to be able to adjust this number uh, so that we can um, control how high above our player the camera is. Now we could just add another hard-coded number in here or we could put a variable in. I think what we're going to do is we're going to put another variable in that's going to control that. So let's go up here and add a new public float We'll call this um, uh, we'll call this position x or y. Sorry, this is the position that we want uh, our y to stay above the player. So then, if I just replace this with position y, then we can actually adjust this out in the inspector, and we can find out exactly where that position is that we want our camera to try to stay on the y from our player. Okay, so we'll save that. Let's go out into Unity again, and position Y will pop up in here. Let's go ahead and put it at a zero for now, which means that we want the camera to stay right about here. That'll be about zero on the player, his center point. So let's just see what happens now. So now you notice the camera is following us, and yes, it's staying at the zero point of our player, um, and that doesn't look too bad. All right, we can, of course, go in here and adjust this. If I put it to a 1, notice how it's, it went up a little bit higher above my player. So this is uh, ways that we can just kind of manipulate where we want that camera to target, where on the player we want them to follow. Okay, and we can play with the smooth time as well. This is taking 3 tenths of a second to get to the player. If I want a little bit more snappy of a camera, I could change this to maybe a 0.2. And now you notice that the camera moves faster. It gets to where my player is a little quicker. So depending on um, maybe the speed of the action in your game and the feel that you want it to have, uh, you can play with that as well. And you notice now when I hit things like this, my camera is not shaking. It's moving a little bit to try to stay up with the player, but it's a smooth motion. It's not a shaky, jarring kind of a motion. All right, so that gets the camera following us with some smoothing and gives us a little bit of control over uh, where the camera tries to position itself to the player. Let's take a quick look at how we can keep the camera from going off the edge of our level. So if our level is complete, uh, there's a couple ways we can do this. Uh, probably one of the simplest ways would be just to figure out where the minimum uh, y and x coordinates and the maximum y and x coordinates of our camera's transform would be to still stay on the level. So for instance, on the Y, I want my camera to probably never get below about this point right here where it can't see off the bottom of my lowest part of my level. So if that's the case, I can go up here and see that that's roughly at a zero on the Y. So I could set my camera so that it never goes below zero on the Y. And then depending on how high my level is, I could set a top as well. In my case, I don't necessarily need a top right now. Um, but I'll probably put one in just so that we have one. But I've got that on the Y, would be Y0. On the X, um, I would never want my camera to go past about this point. So we're looking at about a 0 on the X for the minimum value. But the maximum value, if this was the end of my level here, would be somewhere around a 14.6. So those would be my numbers that I'd try to restrict the camera to. So now that I know what I want to do and what my numbers are, Let's go into our script and see how we would actually implement that. So right now what we're doing is we're getting a target position. This is where we want our camera to be. The target position is um, my target, which is my player, and I want to be at his transform, but then of course we're adjusting it a little bit. We've got our position Y and our negative 10 Z and 0 on the X. So this is our, this is our desired position in relation to the player. 
And then here's where we're actually setting that position. But now instead of setting it, what we want to do is make sure that this position isn't past those min or max points on our camera's transform so we don't see off the edge of the level. So I'm going to modify this line to just store this value because what this does is every frame is it's figuring out how far we should move the camera uh, to get to our target position and we're kind of doing that over some time so that we're smoothing it out and it's not just snap or jumping uh, to where the player's position is. So let's just make a vector 3 variable to store this temporarily. So vector 3, we'll call this our desired position. So we're going to store this, and this is the position we want to go to. But before we go there, let's make sure that it's not off the edge of uh, the, the level, so it stays in those min or max. So what we're going to need to do here now is we're going to need to uh, clamp or limit our camera's movement within the boundaries that we've set. So there is a function, uh, and we're going to go ahead, and this is where we're going to say transform dot position equals. So we're going to go ahead and set our position here, but we want to clamp it. So what we're going to do is we're going to say um, we're going to make a new vector three, and in this vector three, for the x position, we want to do what's called a mathf. This stands for math functions. These are built-in Unity math functions. Dot, and we have all sorts of them. The one we want is called clamp this one here. And you can see the summary says this clamps a value between a min and a max and returns the value. So this allows us to um, give a minimum and a maximum that a value can be. And if it's in between those, then it gives us that value. But if it's below or above it, then it gives us our minimum or our maximum. So and this is where we're going to need some more variables now. We're going to need a variable to hold our minimum x uh, transform coordinate for our camera and our maximum. So let's make a few more variables up here at the top. And we'll set these so they're public so we can adjust these. So public float, and let's call this min x. And then let's make a public float called min or max x. And we'll just start kind of with the x position here. Uh, and then down here, we can say clamp. Okay, I want to clamp it. I want to go to my desired position. Oh, sorry, mathf clamp. Yes, the first part of mathf clamp is the value that I want to uh, limit. So that is going to be my desired position on the x. So just the x part of that, which will be a float number. Okay. So I want to make sure that that number on the x doesn't get between the min or doesn't get lower than the minimum. So minimum is going to be my minimum x variable I just made, and then I put a comma, and now I got to give it the max, which is going to be my max x. Okay, so this will make sure that desired position x, which we've set up here, this could be any number that puts us at the position where we're uh, centered on our player on the x axis. Uh, well, we're going to take a look at that now, make sure that it's not below our minimum or above our maximum on the x-axis. Okay, And then let's just go ahead and fill in, uh, we'll just do this one at a time, so we'll give it desired position dot y, and then we'll give it desired uh, position dot z. Okay? So we'll just clamp it on the x right now and see if that part's working. All right, So we're going to save this, we'll go back out into Unity here, and then our new variables will pop in. So remember I said that I didn't want x to get lower than uh, 0, roughly. So min x, 0 is fine. Max x is going to be over here around that 14.6. So let's go ahead and put that in, 14.6 on my max x. And now my camera should not be able to move past this point or past this point. All right, so let's give it a try. OK, so you see as I move this way, how the camera does not move closer to the edge. As I move this way, the camera now does start moving, and it will move back and forth and follow me. But as soon as it hits that edge here, it now stops. My player is still free to move around. We're still jumping up and down. It's following us just fine. Okay, So that is clamping us between the two edges of my level so that the camera does not go off the edge. Okay, Now, of course, we would probably want to put some sort of a 
a limit on our player so he can't just fall off the edge of the world like he just did. We'd want to somehow block him in, either adding a border of blockable objects or an invisible object that has a, a collider on it. Or we could just limit him with code, kind of like we're doing the camera as well. Let's go back and do the Y here real quick then. So this got us the X, the Math F clamp. So we can actually just uh, copy this. Let's paste this into the Y spot here. And then all we have to do now is say uh, that we want to clamp at the Y coordinate of desired position. And then we need to make ourselves a min Y. Right, then we change max X to max Y. And then let's make these two variables up here at the top. So again, we can just copy these two, paste them in, and change the X's to Y's. And then we have our variables in place. Okay, we'll save the script. Let's go out into Unity. All right, we'll go to our camera. We'll look at the camera follow script here. And again, now we just got to figure out our minimum and our maximum Y values. So if we get our move tool on our camera, we can see that we don't really want the camera to go below probably right about here somewhere. So on the Y again, that's a zero. So let's make sure that min Y is zero. And then max Y, I added a few more platforms here. So let's say that we don't really want it to get much above somewhere in here. So we, at the top, we can still see that row below it. So that's somewhere around about a six. So we'll say max Y is a six for now. We can always adjust that as we continue to build our level. All right, now that we have all that done, we're gonna hit play and our camera will now follow our guy around here. You notice it won't go down below the bottom of my level. And as I move up into the level, it moves up to follow me. But when I get up to the top here and I jump up high, um, you'll notice that it doesn't allow me to go up past that bottom, that next down row of platform. So we're restricting the movement of the camera on the X and the Y. And we have a nice smooth follow going on here as well. All right, so that is the basics of making a camera follow script. So hopefully you find that useful if you need it in your 2D game. Now you know how to do it. Uh, as always, I hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful. Let me know if you have questions, make comments below, and thanks for watching.